David, um, you picked up a point in your first game in charge on Tuesday. You've probably had a touch more time to analyse it when we spoke in the aftermath. Uh, any further reflections? As I said after the game, pleasantly surprised. Um, delighted with um, the players' mindset, the players' um, initial uptake. Um, still loads to work on, obviously. M more pleased for the players that actually they got a reward for... You know, a performance that well, I think they they believe that quite rightly that they were they were good. Um, you know, there's still like, like I keep saying, I don't want to sort of rain on people's parades. That's not my that's not the intention. But at the same time, it's perspective. One swallow doesn't make a summer, and all the rest of it. So yeah, it, it was good. You know, they they were in good form. You can see that. You know, they spend a lot of money. Um, and, and we went toe to toe with them, and we, we, you know, the disappointing thing is we didn't win the game because we, we, we could have been out of sight. You know, we, we had the best chances in the first half. We hit the post and had numerous chances in the last 10, 15 minutes, and then we could have fell to an absolute sucker punch at the end. But thankfully, we didn't. And in the end, you take the point and move on. You spoke in a couple of interviews earlier this week about usually watching the first half not from the dugout. What's the thought behind that? I, I said to um, Sean, I think it's important that I'm there, you know, the side of the pitch for the first few games, and, and then we'll see how we get on. Um, I probably shouldn't have said that. What I said, because that was towards the end of, you know, five years. I, I didn't do that at the start um, because the players, you know, I, I wouldn't say we're trusted. That's not to say that the players here aren't trusted. That's. You, they understood. They didn't need as much guidance and as much coaching in game. It's an opportunity for me to still coach and still to get that stuff into them. You know, even you know on a Tuesday night in a game. So, and I think it's important that they see me as a presence on the side. Not not just about me, but you know, if they're unsure, they can ask. Um, and so it's no point in me being sat in a nice comfy chair up, you know, up in the stand. So it was more to make sure the players got the help if and when they required it that was that was what it was about there's a thought process for you doing it towards the back of the time at crew just for a different vantage point to get a better view yeah that's what it was it was to it was to, it was to provide a better half-time team talk that's what it was and we had the comms which we haven't got at the minute but it was coming um you know so so there was there was a couple of things because i wouldn't be able to communicate even so there was loads of different things that it, it couldn't have happened on, on Tuesday and it won't happen for the next few games then we'll see we'll review and if it needs to, needs, needs to be there fine it's just to make sure that then you know, in, in an hour and a half of football I get to speak to them for probably five six minutes in the middle of it well I've got to make sure them five six minutes are the best five six minutes I can deliver and in order to do that I get the best view it's it's a tradition that is in football that the manager has to stand on the touchline well it doesn't in rugby for example, um, you, you know, so so when you pick up little bits like that, I think they well, why why would you not break from tradition if it makes you better and it and it helps the team more? Well, at the minute, it helps that I'm there to provide immediate guidance. Um, but going forward, we'll see we'll see when that happens. Um, you've got two games in a week, where you've probably got one, maybe two training sessions before each game. Now, is that? Does that make it a challenging week to start a new job or a great opportunity for you to see where your team's at? A bit of both. Um, ideally, you don't have two away games at a real tough opposition. But then, you know, it's the Magic of the FA Cup on, on Saturday, so we've got to make sure that um, we embrace that. Like I said, if, if you'd have, I think, you know, saying that I'll go to a Milton Keynes away on. And your first game, and they're in good form, and you know the you spend it in the league, and all the rest of it. Okay, what an opportunity that is! Or you could go. Oh, hang on a minute. Well, I think our lads went. What an opportunity this is! And then I see Saturday as a, a similar kind of of opportunity. Um, I'm sure because it's another day, I'll find out more about the players, and that's a good thing. Um, you'll have you'll no doubt done a bit of analysis on Oxford so far. What sort of challenge are you expect? And they've just got a new manager in charge as well. Yeah, of course. Obviously, a new manager changes things slightly, but listen, they're, they're flying high in the, their their league, league above. It's always a t tough place to go. Been there before and won. Got to make sure we do it again. 
The fans responded pretty well to what they saw on Tuesday. There's another 750 plus, I don't know if you knew oh. that, heading over down to Oxford. Fantastic. You're looking forward to taking our fans on a journey as well as the players, aren't you? Of course. That's, that, that's, I, I don't want to sort of <laughs> bang the drum all the time every sort of press conference, but you know, I, I'm, I'm no magician. It's going to take time. You know, we all know that. And this has been a, a long time, but we'll get there. Um, and I hope the fans see that. I hope the fans went away pleased but disappointed on Tuesday. Pleased that we played the way we did, in, in you know after one session and, and 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 one game. Disappointed we didn't take all three points because we need to win it. But understanding that actually this is where we need to get to. There's going to be peaks and troughs. There might be some peaks over six games. There might be some troughs over two or three games. That's where we're going to be at uh, until we understand exactly how to be successful and effective with, you know, what we, what I know is going to be successful, um, and I hope that the, the fans understand that. And I, I ask that um, that doesn't. It's not an excuse, you know, trying to get me excuses in early. That's just what's happened previously, and what I envisage will happen again. That doesn't mean. As you saw on Tuesday, that we don't try or we don't, you know, but they might make a mistake and then it's up to me to put my arm around them and sort of explain to them where they went wrong. But also make sure that when they get stuff right, put my arm around them and tell them, you know, really well done. Um, we got more right than wrong on, on Tuesday night, which was pleasing. And we've got, and if we keep doing that, then we'll, you know, we'll, we'll win more games and we'll, we'll play well in more games, irrespective of the result. And that's that's the, that's what I hope the fans sort of understand really.